So we're getting awfully close here. Just uh, tell me how you're feeling going into this one for Amanda. Um, you know, it's the same thing, but you know, every fight brings something new, new challenges. You know, there's a lot of, I wouldn't say pressure, but what happened with the last fight, you know, she's just really here to prove that, you know, this is what she does. She's a fighter. She had a sickness, wasn't able to fight, and we're here yeah. two days out. She's feeling better than she's ever felt and ready to put on a show. Yeah, because she said yesterday, was she, she said she was 150 at that point, right? So how's she doing right now? She's not, she was maybe 150 water bloated, but you know she's around 143, 144. It's not going to be a tough cut. She never really has a tough cut. Um, the last one is a little tough only because she was sick. Yeah. But she had no problem making the weight and gaining it back and being as strong as she can be on Saturday. Yeah, and I mean we've talked ad nauseum about you know all the fallout of last time. Do you feel though once this fight is over, she wins, people are, are going to forget? Because I feel like MMA fans in particular are very you know short-minded in that way. You know, I don't know if they'll forget, and it doesn't really matter if they do or not. Um, you know, there was a lot of negative comments after her fight, and she didn't really look into them, but I did, you know. Yeah. And I never mentioned them to her, but in the passing, I would make sure that we would change just a little bit extra hard, a little, do a little bit extra, just to shut everyone up, you know. Like, I, people don't respect the sport as much as they should. The fans are very iffy in this sport, which is unfortunate. But, you know, I feel like in other sports, you should stick by your athletes. Sometimes they're sick, sometimes they don't perform well, sometimes they're the best in the world. But it's, it's a hard sport to stay doing it for the fans because they're so negative sometimes. Of course, you get those passionate ones that are there for you, and, and that keeps you going. You know, that's what makes it more enjoyable. But I just feel like the fans need to lay off a little or stop being such keyboard warriors and pretending like you're this person behind the screen and, you know, support the sport yeah what do you what's your emotions like on fight night when she's competing do you get emotional do you get nervous how do you just you know handle yourself it's way worse emotionally for me when she fights than when i fight that's yeah. for sure you know although i know she's capable of doing anything in that cage and winning against any opponent it's just what if that one thing goes wrong or what if that one thing happens or what if you're unlucky you know you think of all the negatives of course you have all the positives but it's nerve-wracking i don't sleep the night before i try to hide it from her <laughs> and like in the back i'll go like breathe in the corner i don't let her see it but I'm confident in her. I know she can beat anybody. It's just I can't. I can't shake it. Not only is her training partner, her girlfriend, but it's just it's tough. You know, any girl I corner, I'm like that. With. Absolutely. And the roles are gonna reverse here a little bit. You got your own fight coming yep. up pretty soon. Uh, I'm sure you're happy to get booked again. Just thoughts on the matchup with Angela. Uh, I'm extremely happy about that fight. To be honest with you, you know, I was out since January, just waiting. You know, I was healthy. I was ready to fight. Um, didn't work out, and I'm glad it did at this time with this opponent. You know, last time I fought two weeks after Amanda fought Ron, and it was a little bit hectic. You know, I was able to win that fight and finish it, but it was still like, you know, her coming off a high like that and trying to prepare the last two weeks, the important weeks, was like insane so now i have a little more time and i have a good opponent to showcase what i really got and, and prove that i belong in the uc and even in the top 10. yeah absolutely so that's kind of the the goal here is to yep. win this fight and then you know be in that top 10 spot top seven spot and you know work towards the title shot of your own exactly you know i feel i belong up there i've had a couple of mishaps in the stage you know i've had you know I, the first couple of my fights i took really tough opponents with zero experience and went to split decision in yeah. two champions and then um my la my last a couple fights before this one were bad weight cuts you know I never went to 115 before but the opportunity came and I took them I wasn't cutting weight right I wasn't doing it right I was fighting on fumes mm -hmm. I finally got the science down and I'm ready to make a Terrence division yeah and everyone seems to talk about Angela's you know progression and ever, how she's evolved since the ultimate fighter uh, do you see that in her like do you see a, the huge strides and do you think you know that she belongs back on the stage now after you know going out of the UFC and then coming back yeah I definitely deserve I, she definitely deserves to be back in the UFC she has improved from where she left off um, I still feel I have more experience than her and and I'm gonna bring out the better in me and the better in her so I, I actually like that she's gotten better because I perform my best against top ranked opponents and I'm ready to show that I belong there as well yeah and it's kind of a similar career path she took a lot of hard fights early in her career too right exactly that's why I respect the fight and it actually is a good fight for both of us you know and it's gonna be a good fight and I feel I can finish her. I feel I can beat her in decision. I feel like I'm going to be able to win this fight. I just need to make sure that I stay focused and do all the things I need to do. Perfect.